internet crafting. What, what? It's Thursday. Jungle Safari Day. Yes. So we're going to do a Jungle Safari related craft. And you'll notice that in your bags you have a couple of pine cones. So you don't have to do both, but it's just in case you want to do different things with it. Mm -hmm. So Abby will be making a bumblebee with her pine yes. cone. And I'll be making a bear. So I know bears aren't really part of the jungle, but they are part of the forest. So it's similar. And bees are definitely a part of all of our mm -hmm. nature, natural mm -hmm. environment. We need them really bad. So we yeah. can go ahead and get right to it. So I'm starting off by painting it before I stick it on all of its little parts and pieces nice and bees have stripes and you always want to go in with the light color first so I'm going to start with yellow and do my yellow stripes and then go back in and do my black stripes cool and since bears are already brown I'm not going to have to paint my pine cone but rather I do have to cut out some little arms and his face shape as well so I'm going to do that just kind of made this sort of shape here oh <laughs> So for a space, you just basically make a circle. And if you need to trace something, you can always look for a bottle cap, something round, trace it and then cut it. I'm just gonna freehand mine. Mine isn't perfect, but I'll leave it like that. It'll work just fine. That'll be his face. Then I'm gonna cut out two little ears. Kind of just make a C shape or like a D. And so his arms, face, and ears, I'm doing with the light color and then with the darker color, I'll do the inner part of his ear and his uh, snout. Now I'm gonna make the same shape of my ears but smaller so they can fit and be visible on the inside. And I'm still painting the yellow. <laughs> Moving the black very soon though. Cool. So now I'm gonna glue. A triangle towards the bottom of my circle or face. Okay, got the black done. I'm gonna touch up the yellow a little bit. Next I'm gonna put glue on the bottom of these. The bottom front. So I can glue the ears to the back of the head. Now we just need to add googly eyes, which also are in your kit. I'm gonna go ahead and make my wings. So in this short sort of shape, and I'm gonna twist the bottom together. That way I can easily glue it on and then make a matching one. You guys have one long pipe cleaner, so go ahead and cut it in half. You only need one to make two wings, so. And then if you have a marker or a dark pen, you can use that to make the nose. Or with your black paint, you could take the bottom of your brush, of a, of a I was gonna say makeup, of your paintbrush, <laughs> dip it real quick, and make a cute little nose. They're kind of like oval shaped. Mm -hmm. I mean, not really, but. I have my go. wings ready, and you can just put it on there. Cool. And I have my little stinger for the pom pom. So the wings and the stinger are gonna go on like the back side of the pine cone, and then your eyes are gonna go on the front side. So nice. just gotta figure out what side is my favorite. <laughs> so it's gonna be the front. Nice. Doesn't really matter to cut on Cassandra. I'm gonna do the same. It's all the same, so. Just gonna go ahead and glue his little face to the front as well as his arms. And there's my teddy bear. Wait, let me see the front. <gasps> That's <laughs> super cute. What the heck? Thank you. Okay. Buying some for felt to stick on the back of the. So, yeah, if you're having eyeball. trouble just sticking the plain googly eyes on there, cut out a piece of felt, glue it to your googly eye, and then use that to glue to the. There's some more. Oh. Alright you guys, here's our little creations, a bear and a bumblebee. What, what? Yes, they go together because they both like honey. Well, they make it and the bears like it. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's yeah. so cute. Alright you guys, we hope you enjoyed this craft. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.